Hi you guys, it's Emily again, Kid Lit Book Love. I'm here to talk to you again about another book, The Penderwicks at Point Mouet. This is the third book in the Penderwicks series. I did a previous video a month or two ago on the first and the second book in the Penderwick series. It was also included in my talk about my October book reads, more detail. So I just finished the Penderwicks uh, at Point Moed. It was, I, I read it for a while, then I stopped and read some other books and went back. So I, I read most of it in October. I'm just now finishing <laughs> in November. But um, the Penderwicks at Point Moet. So I, you know, there's one more book I have not read yet, The Penderwicks in Spring. I'm waiting for it to come out in paperback, and it's only right now in the uh, hardback. So I would definitely say, if you've never read The Penderwicks, I completely recommend reading the first Penderwicks book. Although I will say, as I said in my other video, the second book is my absolute favorite, The Penderwicks on Gersham Street. And so The Penderwicks at Point Moet, it's the third book in the series about the four Penderwick sisters that are motherless raised by a single father who is now remarried as of this point in this book. The second book, which was my favorite, is when the father starts dating again and, you know, it's kind of a parent trap kind of a scenario. They try to sabotage the dates, then they try to find him the dates. This is the, So the Penderwicks at Point Mouet, the oldest sister, Rosalind, is out of the picture. She's away at a camp for the very first time. And the third oldest, um, Sky is in charge, the OAP, the oldest available Penderwick. And she is now in charge of the two younger and they go on a summer vacation with their aunt to, um, I guess it's somewhere on the main coast. And so it's, this one is a very much a coming of age about the sisters. This one has a little bit of the, of the very kind of standard girl issues <laughs> that come about for girls at our age, you know, 11, 12. 10, 11, 12, uh, one of the sisters, Jane, falls in love for the first time, and she's also the one who's the writer, so it's all about a young girl falling in love and thinking her first romance, her first kiss, and Skye's, you know, developing responsibility, and Jeffrey, who showed up in the first book um, at Arendelle, uh, is in this book. They take their vacation with him. He's a very special boy to them, almost like a brother. And he actually finds his biological father in this book, where it's talked about in the first couple of books. He has a really mean mom and stepdad and doesn't know anything about his father. Um, so good book. Uh, again, the second book I read fast is my favorite. This one I kind of lingered. The first... I would say in my favorite order, the second book, the third book, then the first book. But you kind of have to read the first book to know what's going on before you get to the second and third book. So read The Penderwicks, A Point Mouet. A very cute story. I mean, all across the board, all of the Penderwicks books are adorable and great, and I love them. Um, but if I had to pick a favorite, I'd pick the second one. So this is all about their summer vacation, and they're sort of the girls coming of age kind of trials and errors, and the girls cut their hair, and you know, all about the boys. And so it's definitely, you know, it's a long novel, no illustrations. It's a big fat novel. So these are definitely, you know, middle school and up age. So again, I recommend the Penderwicks, all of them, the Penderwicks of Point Mouet and um, check it out. If you've read any of the other Penderwicks, I'd love to hear what you think. Thanks.